Hey everybody, Robert with Zinfolio here, and in this video, we're gonna talk about using the package feature as a landscape or fine art photographer. The first thing I wanna talk about today is to show you how you can use packages to sell your images in pre-configured uh, framing and mounting options. And so I'm gonna show you how to do that first. We're gonna create a package really quick like that. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna jump up here to selling and just click right on the word selling. And then we're gonna look for packages right down here in the bottom. We're gonna click on that. And then once we're in here, we're just gonna click add a new package. Even though we're creating this in a, the package feature, this, is, this first option that I'm showing you is not really gonna be a package option. Uh, this is going to be, again, having some framing and mounting options already set up for this particular product. And so what I wanna do is I don't wanna call it a package, I wanna call it the print size or whatever it's gonna be and make sure that I mentioned that it's framed and mounted. So we might say uh, 16 by 24 uh, framed and mounted. And obviously the more description you could put in the title, the better. I'm just really quickly doing a quick title up here. You might put like black metal frame or whatever frame you're gonna apply to this. Put that up here in the title so that when people see it, they kind of get an idea of what they're getting. Now what we're gonna do is go down here. And uh, obviously since this is gonna be a single print, we are gonna leave this set up to be one photo for all products. We're gonna click add products. And we're just gonna go and grab a print. And we're gonna look for that 16 by 24, which is gonna be right here. And we'll say 16 by 24, add it in here. And then the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come down here and click this little frame and mount, mount button right here. And this is where we can go and select the framing and mounting options for this. Now, the, the plus side of this is this makes it really simple for your clients. It makes this like a one-click solution where when they're looking at an image they and they want that one printed, framed, and mounted, they click this option and all of the options are already configured. The downside to this route is that this isn't something that they can manipulate. So they can't look at the frame and change the frame option or change the mat. You are pre-selecting those options and pre-configuring it for the clients, which works out really good if you are really particular about the frames and the mounting options that you think look best on your images and you want to have some control on that. And if you want to apply the, the finishing coating and stuff, you can do that as well. Uh, but this is where you're going to go set this up. So you're going to go right down here to mountain frame. And what you're going to choose is a frame. So let's go with the, uh, we'll go with the black metal frame right here. Once you select a frame, then you get the options for the mat. In this case, I'm just going to grab the white mat. And then we're going to go right here and do non-glare glass. Okay. And so now this is going to be already pre-configured. Okay, so when the client selects this, it's gonna take whatever image they're looking at, apply this, uh, those settings to it and add it right to their card. They don't have to configure anything at all. It's already done. Okay, uh, a couple of things that you might wanna do, color conversion, but this is a personal preference. It will let your clients do a black and white or sepia tone conversion to the photos. I usually like to keep that option turned off but that is totally up to you. It doesn't cost them anything. It doesn't cost you anything. Again, just a personal preference. Now for the cropping, uh, you guys saw me choose a 16 by 24. If you've hung around Zenfolio Live for a while, you probably know why. I like to crop everything and maintain its original aspect ratio, which is 3-2. 16 by 24 is a 3-2 aspect ratio print. So therefore, I'm gonna be turning that cropping to fit because my images are in 3-2. If you wanna let your client crop, that's totally up to you, that's, that's fine. You can always review the client cropping in order approval, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and apply this. And then we're gonna go down here and set the selling price for this. So I'm just gonna go down here and I'm gonna say, uh, let's do 450 for that. And we'll click next down here at the bottom. And on the next screen for packages, if you wanna write up a description, you can. It's not necessary. These are optional settings, but it's up to you if you want to write a description or not. I'm going to go ahead and just skip ahead and click next and hit save and done. Um, the next thing that we'll talk about in packages is about including maybe some gift items or uh, another thing to think about as well as some is like a wallpaper, right? So when, especially during the holiday, holiday times, maybe somebody's coming and they want to buy a print for their wall 
And maybe they're thinking about, well, man, I would like to buy one for me and maybe do one as a gift for somebody. So you could set up a package that had multiple um, framed and mounted prints in there as a gift so that they get one and they have one to give, maybe call it a get one, give one kind of thing. Um, you could set up a package to do that. But the other thing that you could think about as well is holiday seasons coming around. Maybe you could set it up to where when they buy that canvas uh, print, they also get maybe some greeting cards that they could customize. Um, or some other options that are in there. So there's a lot of different options. Um, and we're gonna kind of set a package up like that and then we'll come back and we'll set one up with the digital wallpaper and we'll talk through that. So let's go and we'll add a new package. And um, we'll just call this one uh, 16 by 24 uh, metal print with matching greeting cards. So let's go down, we have to set this to be multi-image package for greeting cards and templated products. So that is one thing to note whenever you're doing templated products like greeting cards where they have a template that the clients can drag and drop images to, you do have to do a um, multi-image package. And we're gonna click add products. We're already in MPEX Pro, let's go to home decor and let's go down to metals. And I believe we have a 16 by 24. So there's a 16 by 23 and a half. No, you know what? The Vivid Metal has it right here. 16 by 24. We're going to add that in. And um, if you're ever doing metals and you're confused about what's the difference between the white base and the metal base, white base uses white on the highlights of your images. Metal base lets the metal show through on the highlights. So it kind of has a more matte look to it. So something to keep in mind. Um, so we have that 16 by 24 metal bait or metal uh, print. Let's go back and add products again. We'll go to greeting cards. We'll go to flat and let's grab these five by seven greeting cards. Now, right now, it's going to let the client choose from all of the different templates that are available. All right there are a lot of templates that are available. And so you might want to think about this and maybe do a couple of things. Um, kind of go through here, take a look at the templates, see if there's something that you want to use. Um, and again, a lot of these are going to be holiday based or event based or something like that. So what you might want to do is create your own holiday greeting card template. I'm not going to have time to show you guys how to do that today. Maybe we'll do that on an upcoming episode of Zenfolio Live. Um, but there is a video on our YouTube channel. If you go and look up how to create your own custom templates, there should be a video on our channel that talks about that. Uh, so for this one, I'm just going to say selected templates. And we're just going to use, uh, let's use, we'll just use this one for now. All right, and so now this is a package where they buy that metal print for their wall and it's around the holiday season, they're gonna get a set of matching greeting cards with that. And so just something you can market for the holiday season. Come over here and maybe set a price on that. Let's do 150 and hit next. All right, so we'll hit next again and we'll click done. Okay, now I want to talk about uh, building a package that includes a digital wallpaper or background, right? Again, this is something where maybe somebody really likes an image, but maybe they also want to get it for their phone. Maybe they want to get it for uh, a screensaver, their background on their computer. Maybe they want to get it uh, to use on their site. Depending on how you're licensing that image, these are options that you have. You just need to set up a digital product to do that. So I'm going to go to digital products really quick. And we're gonna go in here and we'll just create a digital wallpaper option. So I'm gonna say add product. We'll say uh, digital wallpaper. For the license, I would be using a custom license. Uh, if you've never played around with custom licenses before, definitely go check out our digital products training. It talks about custom licenses, how to upload your own. So I would definitely have my own custom license in here. But for this one, I'm just gonna use um, royalty-free personal use. And then for this, we're definitely gonna set this to um, largest dimension. And I'm going to have Zenfolio resize that to be 1080 pixels on its longest edge. And we're gonna leave this to be uh, one photo and click save. And now we can go and add that into a package with a print. So if we go to selling, 
and we go to packages. And if we go here and click add new package, we'll do a 16 by 24 canvas with matching digital wallpaper. All right. And we'll go here, we'll go to home decor, go to canvas print, add 16 by 24 in here. And then we'll add in that uh, digital product. So we're gonna click up here, go down to our vendor name. And then we're gonna choose the digital wallpaper option, add selected image or add selected product. And now we're gonna put a price on this. Now, if you'll notice, you do have to set the price separately. Uh, the digital download is separate from the canvas print. In this case, usually what I like to do is I like to set the full price on the print side of things. So that way, um, when they look at it, it looks like that digital product is free, even though maybe you're taking into account for it up here. So let's say for the selling price, we wanna be, I don't know, and I'm just making up numbers, you guys. These are not pricing suggestions. Let's say 375. We'll hit next. And that is going to save that package. All right. And done. And that's going to save that package. All right. So if you have a couple of images that you'd really like to be purchased together because you think it would make a great series for somebody's wall or, or office, um, you can create a package that links specific products in that package to certain images. So I'm going to show you how to do that next. Now, I believe this is a feature that is only available on the advanced plan. So you would need to check your plan level to see if this option is available to you. If you're not sure how to do that, you just need to hover over your name in the top right corner right up here. Go to account and then you'll see what plan you're on. What we're going to do is we're going to create the package first and I'm going to show you how to make it work. So we're going to go to add new package. We'll do this with the photo float product. I mentioned the photo float product in the beginning. If you guys haven't checked it out, the photo float product is pretty cool. It uh, is basically a print that also comes with a magnetic mounting system. And so if you're somebody who likes to decorate with the seasons, or maybe your wife is somebody who likes to decorate with the seasons, um, and that involves taking a lot of different photos up and down, you can use this magnetic system and actually have it set up to where it just kind of clicks into place with the magnetic mounting system. Them. So allowing you or your clients or whoever buys it to change those photos out really easy. Um, and, and we'll do that. We'll use that product with this particular package. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll call this a uh, photo float series. And this is probably a product that you might want to do some explaining to your clients. We do have a blog post. I'm going to copy that link and share that with you guys. So we're going to go down here. And we're going to click on, uh, first of all, we're going to do three images in this series. So we're going to say one photo for each product in here with a limit to a unique number of images of three. And then we're going to click add product. We're going to go up here and go down to the photo float vendor. And we're going to choose our sizes. So basically what I'm looking for is one big image and then two or small, two smaller images to kind of be set off on the side. Let's do a uh, 20 by 30. And there are two types of products in here. One is wall mount, make sure you pay attention. One is desk stand. So let's do a 20 by 30 and then we'll do, let's go with the 20 by 15. All right, we'll add that in here. Now, one of the things that we are gonna have to do is rather than bumping up the quantity of the 20 by 15, because we want to have two 20 by 15s, but we want them to be two different images. And we're going to use this pre-select option right here. One of the things that we're going to have to do is we're going to have to go back and add another 20 by 15 as a separate line item. We can't actually just bump up the quantity right here. So this is something you do need to pay attention to when you're setting this up. All right, so we're going to go back and we're going to go down to that 20 by 15 again and add it in. And so now we have a separate line item. And I'm going to show you why we did it that way. Because we're going to be using this pre-select option right here. And what that does is it allows us to put a keyword in here. And then we go to the image that we want to use for that specific product. 
and put that same keyword in there. And then it automatically applies that image to that product and the client cannot change it. So the, that means that this package that we're creating is only going to work for the images that we've keyworded. Now you can use it in separate galleries where you have other images with the same keywords, but you can't have them in the same gallery. So it is something to be aware of. Okay. So let's just start off with, we'll say pre-select right here. And here we're going to say, uh, I'm going to say 20 by 15 A. So for the first image, pre-select right here, we'll say 20 by 15 B. Keep in mind, again, these are the keywords that we're then going to have to go put into the images that we want to force to go into this product. And then on the 30 by 20, we'll say pre-select and we'll do 30 by 20. Okay, so something easy to remember. Um, and then on this, we'll just go ahead and mark it up. This again is a series with a 30 by 20 to 20 by 15s. So we're gonna go ahead and do this markup. Uh, let's go with, uh, we'll do 8, 875 on here. Okay, and then we're gonna hit next. And next again and done. Okay, now these packages aren't available for purchase yet. We do still have to take them and add them to a price list. But before I do that, I need to show you guys the keyword process to how to make that last package that I created work. Okay, so we're gonna go to photos and we're gonna go into uh, this landscape gallery really quick. And we're going to go in here and we're just going to keyword the images. So let's say that we want this waterfall image right here to be our big uh, 30 by 20. So I'm going to click on that image, go up here to details. And in that image, I'm going to write, uh, I can't remember if it was 20 by 30 or 30 by 20. So I'm going to write 30 by 20. <laughs> but then to be safe, I'm going to put a comma and I'm going to write 20 by 30. That way I don't have to come back here and do it again. So I'm keywording that same matching tag into the photo and that's what's gonna force it to go to that image or that product in that package. So now we'll hit save. Then we're gonna do it for the other one. So let's say we want this image for the first, uh, the first 20 by 15. So we're gonna click on that image, go to details. Under keyword, we'll say 20 by 15 A. We'll hit save. Then we're gonna to go to this image right here and we'll say details. We'll say 20 by 15 B. And I was just making those keywords up to make it easy for me to remember, which obviously didn't work out that well, um, but you, it can be whatever you want it to be. It just needs to be something so you know, okay, if I put this keyword in here, it's gonna force that image to go to that specific product. All right, okay, so now that we've done the keywording part, Let's go to selling. Let's create a price list with these packages that we've created really quick. And then we will add that price list to the gallery. Then we'll go take a look at this from a client's perspective and you guys can see how all of this stuff works. If you guys have questions, please make sure you're getting them into the chat. Uh, I'm gonna show you the client view of this. Then I'm gonna take a quick break, sip some tea, come back and answer your questions. So make sure that you're getting your questions in the chat, but let's go ahead and build this price list and take a look at it first. All right, so we're gonna go to price list. And we're gonna click add a blank price list. And then I'm just gonna call this landscape. We'll add our products, which really is just going to be our packages. So packages, photo float series. I do wanna note here, I am using products from two different vendors. Photo float is its own vendor. Impix Pro is a separate vendor. And I do want to note that if you do that and your clients order products from each vendor, they are going to be charged a shipping fee per vendor. So it is something that you do want to keep in mind. Generally, I usually don't recommend doing it this way. And I'm not really recommending that you do that now. I'm just showing you this as an example with that photo float in there. So typically, I would recommend that you not use products from different vendors. All right, we're going to click add selected products. Uh, the the packages are already priced, they're good to go. So I'm just gonna go down here and grab these really quick, throw them over into my quick shop list, hit save, and then we'll apply it and take a look at it from a client's perspective. So we're gonna go to photos 
And we're gonna go to that landscape gallery right here. Click on price list. I'm gonna say allow ordering. Here's my landscape. And then I'm gonna click save. Now we wanna see this from a client's perspective. It's really important that you guys know how to do this um, because we can't just click preview. That's gonna show us kind of what the client would see, but we're gonna see it still logged in as us, the photographers. And so the best way to look at a gallery from a true client's perspective is to get the client link. And so we're gonna go to access, sharing, and right here's the client link. You can just click on it to copy it. And then I'm in Google Chrome, so I'm gonna do file, new incognito window, and then paste that link into that incognito window. Now I'm actually looking at this from a client's perspective which is why I have to register because that gallery has a visitor sign in. So I do have to register. So I'm gonna say Rob um, and we'll say Rob at yopmail.com. We'll hit continue. Now we see that the image is for sale. Okay, so let's look at some of these packages. Let's go ahead and do the photo float series first because I wanna show you guys how that works. So if I hit that, all right, you're gonna see that it automatically applied those images to those products. And again, that was solely based on the pre-select keywords that I put in at the package level. And then I went into the image and put those same keywords into the image. So this is a way that you can force an image to go to a specific product in a package and your client cannot change it. Really cool option if you wanna set these up a very specific way, if you have a very um, specific framing option, certain print size that you want, and you don't want the client to be able to change it, you just want them to go in there and order it the way that you've set it up, this is gonna be the route that you're gonna to wanna to take because it automatically applies those specific images. So now we have this pre-configured series that's ready to go. And then we would just add it to the cart. Client doesn't have to do anything, they just hit add to cart. Okay, let's try, uh, let's try this image right here. And let's take a look at the 16 by 24 with the matching wallpaper. So if we add this here, that's gonna go right into the cart. Again, because there's no configuration to it, it's a package that only allows one image. So that image gets applied to the big print and the digital product that's in there as well. So again, if you like to control things, you wanna have things set up in a, a specific consider, uh, configuration, that's another good setting to use. Let's go to the metal prints with the matching greeting cards uh, really quick. So we go greeting cards right here, uh, or that's the, the print, and then we go right here, and this is where we would choose and configure the design. Now, obviously, I would probably use a Christmas card. I would probably set up my own custom template, but now we can save it, and now, um, we can add it to the cart and the package is in the cart, good to go. So the client has the wall print and they have the greeting card. And then of course, the last option here is that package, the very first one that we created, which is the framed and mounted package. So it doesn't even say package, it just shows up 16 by 24 framed and mounted. We hit that. Client doesn't have to do anything. It goes right into the cart because we, the photographer, have already set up the framing and mounting options. So that is pretty much it for this part of the training, you guys. I wanted to show you some different ways that you can use the package feature. It's not just for portrait and wedding photographers. As a landscape photographer, there are lots of options in there that you have. Or as a fine art photographer, there's lots of different ways that you can tweak that tool to use it in a lot of different configurations and setup, giving you a lot of control of the final product that your clients get, or allowing you to build options that your clients can go through and choose different options and configure themselves. 